eventful West Coast swing for you guys. Uh, what's the feeling as you leave here, having taken two out of three and win four out of six on the trip? Yeah, I mean, look, it's obviously tough. Anytime you come come all the way west and and you go up against two two teams, you know, Seattle and what they're doing pitching wise. Um, and then, and then, obviously, the Dodgers to come in here and and get two after after a tough first inning, uh, the first day. Um, man, the guys did so many things well tonight. Uh, just really, really good all around effort. A lot of winning things happening in that game. Domingo Herman really seemed to be on his game. Very sharp. One run, six and two thirds innings. What allowed him to be so effective today? That's Domingo. I mean, I think I looked up there at some one point, and he was like three balls and 28 strikes. I mean, it was just filling the zone, unpredictable. Um, I thought he did a good job. You know, his changeup and curveball were outstanding, but I thought he did a good job staying unpredictable. He, he worked the top of the strike zone occasionally with with the four seam and, and then had the sinker going. But it was just, I mean, that's what command looks like. That's that's big time command right there. And that's what you got to have when you go up against a lineup like the Dodgers. And then we asked you earlier this week about Anthony Volpe and you said, look, he's a winning player. Is today an example of exactly what you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, uh, big big time AB right there to, to give us some breathing room there. Uh, um, good at bats today. I thought his at bats were better today. Um, good to see him, uh, you know, smoke a base hit earlier in the game, and then and then really lean on one there to finish it off. So, um, yeah, good to see him do that. When you guys checked on Herman, uh, what happened there exactly? He, j- I think he just caught his spike in the hole a little bit and rolled his, kind of rolled a little bit. So he tapes his ankles though anyway, and that kind of kept him stable so he was fine I just wanted to make sure of it because I saw him react kind of funny you guys have been able to win at this level without several key guys really all year what do you feel like that says about this team yeah uh, you know what uh, just credit to a, a lot of different people you know obviously you know Judge and Rizzo and Glaber have just been constants for us and their consistency but We've gotten contributions all over the place from guys that aren't even still here. Um, um, some winning things are happening, which is good. And look, it doesn't mean everyone's hot or everyone's doing great. Some guys are struggling. Um, but when you do things that help you win games, um, that's what it's about. And I feel like a lot of a lot of those things are happening, and it's just a credit to them. You know, I talk about it with you guys a lot. You know, walk in the building with an edge prepare your butt off and go compete and rinse and repeat and they are doing that at a really high level like win or lose like we're hooked up on that bench and ready to go would you have used judge today uh no as the game unfolded no was he physically had you needed him in a spot would you have gone to him is that a different question? What, what's that? Say that one again. Well, I'm saying like an emergency situation. Did yeah, you feel? I, I, I don't know. Physically, I, he could have gone out there in any way. I, shape, I, I didn't even get to that point with it. You know, he was just getting treatment, and I knew it was probably as the game was unfolding, unless someone was going to come to me and say, you know, he's in play. But no, I, as it unfolded, no. Burned by the contact play on a few times. Did you feel like the, both those ground balls were kind of perfectly hit weak enough to, to be able to get both runs across? Yeah, I don't know if I, I, I don't know if let's review and see if we were burned. Like, just because you're out doesn't mean you're burned. Right. There's going to be an out somewhere. Um, yeah, I mean, not hit not hit well helps, and and when the fielder's got to move a little, that's that's what you're selling out for. And uh, good job by the base runners there, and and good job of not hitting it too hard by. By Oswaldo and Higgy. With, with Volpe, even through his struggles, does he seem like to have a knack to yes. come up big in certain spots when games on the line or a chance to do something? Uh, yeah, that, that's that's what's been impressive about him is through all this, through times where he struggled at the plate, times where he's made some, he he always just bounces right back and he, he's helped us win a lot of games. Another big homer, you know, he's got nine homers, like. Um, He's made a lot of big, important plays in the field. Obviously, the stuff he does on the bases, you know, he's he's finding his way, and and it's it's fun to watch him do it. You guys aren't the only ones that have had a battle against Bobby Miller. He's a pretty good young arm. Wow. Yeah. He was he was firing today. Um, was was obviously tough on us. Um, yeah, I mean that's a that's a big time arm. You know, I've, I've heard about him now for a little while, and and that arm came as advertised.